and welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the makings of Wild and Free. So first off I wanted to show you guys that I am trying a new method with my taping. I used to use the removable um, book cover clear stuff and honestly it worked in some cases but didn't in others and so that was my struggle i wanted to find something that was a little bit more secure in being able to recommend every single time um, that was the only solution that i really had at that point and so now i'm trying some other things to see what works especially on wood because when i worked with the turtles and the removable casing didn't work with the turtles i had to retape everything it was a pain in the butt and i had to use the 3m blue tape which of course you can use that if you really want but you can't see what's underneath and that's my big thing is being able to see what's underneath so what i'm doing right here is i'm covering it with just normal packing tape yeah normal packing tape cover the whole thing and then um you can still use an exacto knife to cut around the edges and then you remove that the reason i removed it while it was wet was because i wanted to flick the paint to create that really fun wild aspect of this piece and i wouldn't have been able to do that had i let the tape dry and take it off when it was all dried uh, which is what I normally do. I wouldn't have been able to get the paint to look the same, to blend together, to all be the same color because I mixed everything and did my flip cup. So if you're trying to get it to look the same and you just paint teal on afterwards, it's not gonna look the same. I did that with a small portion beside the head and I think it still looks great, but you can see that it looks different than where the gold had blended into the teal here. So it definitely creates a different look. Still looks okay, still totally looks good. But I just wanted to show you guys that difference there. This is what happens when you take, it was actually right here that the tape was. I took it off and I had painted this afterwards and just tried to make it look similar to what had happened over here. So once everything is dry, now is the time to paint. Um, I didn't notice it at the time, but the eyes are actually crooked and I don't know what it is about me and doing things crooked. I just did a baby painting with a name and I didn't even realize that the E was like half an inch up, not a half an inch, but it was still so totally off the regular line. Everything else was, and I didn't even see it until my husband pointed it out. Same thing with the horse. I didn't see it until he pointed it out. <laughs> And I just was not happy because now I have to fix it all, but I'm really glad that he pointed it out before I resined the piece because that would have been miserable. So now the horse has straight eyes, but right now, if you guys notice, it does not.
Once I was done painting, then was the time for glitter. I didn't wanna do just one color of glitter here. I wanted to have a mane with multiple colors. And so I worked with my dark color first because I knew that would stand out in stark contrast to the light golden colors. And it would also blend in with the horse. So I really wanted that to be my first color to focus on. And then I put the other colors by it just to make sure everything had a flow. And those light golds really helped pull in the gold from the outside edge as well. So that was kind of uh, one of the main reasons I had done that. This part's so cool. I love this part. Look at that. That's actually a part of the wood. And the wood was trying to suck the resin down. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. So once the glitter was on, here's my close-up of the crooked eyeballs. <laughs> and so then I painted, what I tried to do is I tried to figure out if I liked the white in the middle of the nose or the black. And I kind of like the black, but I had multiple votes that said white, 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 white. So I agree. I think the white looks good, but you could definitely see the crooked eyes. So I had to fix that. I did that off screen and uh, mixed up my resin, poured it over top. It really did not take a lot of resin to cover this, uh, which is why I like working on my wood pieces. And ends up being a little bit easier because I could actually stick it in my little resin dust free zone thing. And that is so ideal because then I don't have to dig and babysit my piece um, and dig all the hair out. So here you can see what it looks like anyways. Look how flawless this looks. I love it. Look at that. So pretty. Now you guys can see my new ring light too. Look at that. Woo woo. <laughs> if you guys do like ring lights, Beachy Doves, they're amazing. And I did add them to my Amazon store finally. So if you guys haven't checked that out, look in the description below. Um, the reason I did that is because I've gotten two now. They are that amazing. I have uh, my normal softbox lights that I did with photography. And those are good, but they're nowhere near as amazing as these ring lights. They're worth the investment. I even did a DIY ring light, um, which I didn't post the video on because it was a painful, painful project. And I just wanted to see if it worked. And I actually used that for a while. But the problem with that is it's not as strong of a light. It's not adjustable. There were so many reasons why I didn't like that in comparison to these. So yeah, if you guys want one, go check it out. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. That was the making of Wild and Free. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you're interested in this particular piece, please private message me on Instagram or Facebook. So if you guys love horses, then please let me know if you guys are interested. All right. If you guys love this piece and are in the back, why do I always get tongue tied when I'm trying to talk to the camera? I need a nap. And of course my neighbor is using his saw now while I'm trying to record. Benefits of having a home studio, I guess.